Welcome to this quick and easy introduction for Silverfast 9 and the Plastic Optic Film Series Scanner. Today's short episode is about scanning a slide with only the most basic steps necessary to create a brilliant image. If you're interested in a longer tutorial and would like to learn more about Silverfast 9, we encourage you to click the link at the end of this movie. You'll see me using Silverfast 9 AI Studio, but you can follow my steps in Silverfast SE+. Every step I'll be showing now is also available in Silverfast SE+. Our slide is in the appropriate holder and inserted into the scanner. Let's perform a pre-scan by clicking Pre-scan up here in the horizontal toolbar. Once the pre-scan is finished, we'll move over to the control dock on the left. We'll leave the scanning mode to transparency. Next, we'll choose positive as the material we'd like to scan. And we'll make sure 48 to 24 bit is selected under color depth here. Next, click the frame tool to open its menu, scroll down to the item Find Frames and select Slide 35 by 23 millimeter. In the large preview area to the right, we can observe how Silverfast automatically adjusted the scan frame to the actual image content in our slide. Next, in the Scan Dimensions widget, we'll enter a name for example, interior, and choose JPEG as the file format, a commonly used file format, which provides a good balance between file size and image quality. Under path, we can choose where to save our file by clicking the folder icon and selecting a destination folder. We will skip the format menu here and make sure we have chosen photo quality under preset. Under expert settings, output, we'll enter a common output size of, for example, 10 inches for the width and after hitting enter, the height will be adjusted accordingly to main the aspect ratio. Notice how the resolution slider was automatically adjusted to the correct input resolution of 2400 PPI to create a final scan of 10 by 6.5 inches with 300 PPI output resolution. We're halfway done now, so we will move on to the vertical toolbar for the special tools. The unsharp masking is active by default, which is indicated by the little red dot in the bottom right corner of its icon. We can still click on it to move the widget for the unsharp masking upwards in the toolbar. The default preset is auto sharpness and we'll leave it like that. Next, we'll also activate the hardware-based dust and scratch removal ISRD by clicking on the icon in the vertical toolbar and also leave it in automatic mode. A little further down, we'll activate multi-exposure to capture the full dynamic range of our original. We're almost done, but before clicking the scan button in the upper horizontal toolbar, we'll click the default image automatic next to the pre-scan button which automatically optimizes the highlights, shadows, and midtones, as you can see by the red dots in the histogram and gradation. Okay, all that's left for us to do now is click the scan button. Silverfast 9 will start the final scan of our slide with the plastic optic film scanner. A brief moment and some processing by Silverfast 9 later. The scanner status window in the bottom left corner will indicate 
the scanner is finished. And we can click the blue file icon to open our perfectly scanned slide in the default image viewer of your operating system. Congratulations, you have successfully scanned your slide and created a brilliant digital image of it. If you have more slides in your film holder, you can move on to the next slide and follow the same steps as described in this very basic quick introduction. Or you can click the link in the upper corner to watch a significantly longer tutorial with more in-depth explanations on how to use the many great tools and features in Silverfast 9 like a pro. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we hope to see you again in the next episode of this series with Silverfast 9 Anti-Plus Optic Film Scanner. Thanks for watching.